Hi folks, what I'm doing right now is I'm testing the uh, kiln in the microwave uh, at different power settings uh, over time and so I can get an idea of how hot the, the kiln is getting and the, uh, how hot the microwave is getting. So I've got a 700 watt microwave and at 10% power uh, after five minutes the outside of the pot was 220 degrees and the inside of the microwave was 112 and I checked around these were the highest readings that I got and then at six minutes I just as I opened the door measured it shut the door flipped on another minute at six minutes it was 223 degrees and 120 inside the kiln and at seven minutes it got to 225 and 125 degrees inside the microwave so uh, you can see that that's uh, pretty much at the top of a peak now it's going to peak at 230 235 maybe in nine or ten minutes so what that tells me there is uh, you can pretty much run that for as long as you want as long as you don't need any higher than 235 degrees or so and uh, it's not going to hurt the microwave uh, now on the 20 percent setting after five minutes it was uh, to 244 degrees and, and the inside of the microwave was still uh, 112 uh, and I forgot to tell you uh, between tests I waited till it uh, it cooled down enough that I could take the, the uh, kiln outside and set it outside where it cooled down faster and then when it got down to uh, room temperature below I brought it right back in and, uh, and then so um, anyway on the second test after five minutes it was at 244 and the inside of the, uh, the microwave was still 112 uh, at six minutes it was 261 and it jumped to 132 uh, then 270 and 136 so at 20% it looks like it's going to peak around 290 or so maybe 300 in, in 9 or 10 minutes and uh, but it looks like the microwave itself is dissipating heat pretty uh, pretty good because uh, it only that's only uh, 11 degrees higher than uh, the 10% setting here after 7 minutes so uh, the, the uh, kiln's cooling down right now. As soon as it's cool, I'll bring it back in and I'll do it at 30%. But uh, it looks to me like, the, you know, for uh, carbonizing stuff, you're not going to need to go much over 30% uh, or so. Because, as, oh, I measured the uh, the temperature difference. I mean, it was after I was, it was already cool enough that I could pick up and take outside. And it was still a, a 50 degree temperature and a 60 degree temperature difference between uh, the inside of the pot and the outside of the pot at that point so it's, it's probably a hundred degrees or more difference when it's cooking I don't know for what it would be but uh, I would say uh, you could add a hundred to 150 degrees to whatever maximum temperature you're going for here so let's say that's 300 so the inside is going to be four, 400 450 somewhere in there I'm guessing I'll be back when the third test is uh, done. Okay, here's the results of the 30% power test. And uh, at five minutes, we had the, the kiln was 340 degrees and the, the microwave was 125 inside. Six minutes, it was 362 and 136 inside the microwave. Seven minutes, it was 375 and 149. So extrapolating these uh, these temperature curves here, it looks like the 10% setting is going to peak at 2:30 or 2:35 in about eight or nine minutes, and the 20% setting is going to peak at around 290 or 300 in about 10 minutes, and the 30% setting is going to peak around 4:30 or 4:50 and uh, around 12 minutes. <coughs> so. Uh, but the, uh, it doesn't look like the, uh, the the microwave inside temperature is going to be a problem. You know, there's a quite a bit of temperature change there. And if you figure the inside temperature is uh, 100, 150 degrees hotter than that, then uh, I don't think the, uh, the inside temperature is going to be a, a problem, really, even for a, a, a long term, which is what I want because uh, I'm looking for, I want consistent heat.
and the thing I don't want to be and I don't want to have to stand around and turn the thing on and off all the time um, so what I'm thinking here is that uh, this is this 30% setting is going to be my main setting here maybe if I want to use the 10% to dry something out you know but uh, it looks like the 30% is the is the setting I'm looking for and um, and it looks like the microwave or the kiln is absorbing the microwave uh, energy really well and uh, and uh, it's not uh, not heating uh, the stuff up the inside the, the, the microwave up too bad so I'm going to use the 30 percent setting for me and uh, I'm just going to let it stay in there and rotate for however long it takes I will monitor it after you know seven minutes or at least the first time or so just to see uh, what it does go to where it does peak but looks like 30% uh, is all I need that's uh, 200, 210 watts uh, of a 700 watt system now this is the first one I've ever built so I have no idea how this compares to uh, you know uh, somebody else's kiln so can you guys got microwave kilns that are similar to this uh, uh, run your test on those and, uh, and see how this compares and let me know all right thanks for watching I'm back I was just thinking about uh, after I soaked the kiln and uh, the zinc chloride and I fired it in the microwave I had it in 90 percent and that which judging by uh, the 375 degrees at 30 percent I bet that, that must have got awfully hot in there and uh, it was on for 12 minutes although it was three minutes at a time with a short break in between them and uh, uh, then when I baked the uh, carbon coating on it also had it at 90 percent and I put two coats on at six minutes uh, a piece on that so um, anyway that uh, it looks like that it's going to work uh, pretty good and as long as I keep it down on the 30 percent I can uh, use it for longer periods of time so uh, I'm pretty happy with that Thanks a lot for watching.